Okay, thank you. Real quick, uh, I apologize to Mr. Uh, Rodriguez. Uh, I wasn't talking about to Mr. Rodriguez. You, I don't know if you were the last representative because I didn't mention any names. I just said the last representative and I, I, I believe that wasn't you, sir. So I was not talking about you, sir. And I want, I want to state that clearly right now. Okay. Um, I think uh, we, we jumped the gun here. And I'm sorry that I did not return the call, but quite frankly, sir, I don't trust you. I apologize. I don't trust you. You, you broke my heart, sir. You and I had an understanding. And you went on your podcast and talked bad about me. And none of it was true. That's it. That's it. But I just wanted to state that fact. It, I, when I was talking, it wasn't about you, sir. And I did not know the two, the two meetings where you were the one that missed them. I apologize. I apologize if you misunderstood or somebody told you differently. Thank you. And one more that I want to pull up here that I've cited often from Patrick Henry. And I think this is just a great one to finish up on. He said, show me this is in the Virginia ratifying convention again, summer of 1788. He said, show me that age and country where the rights and liberties of the people were placed on the sole chance of their rulers being good men without a consequent loss of liberty. Patrick Henry, James Madison, and so many others knew that if you trusted people with power, that power would always grow, and on the ruins of it would be our liberty. Now, we're going to move on to the city of Socorro. And uh, Rene made a special appearance in the city of Socorro. Very interesting very awesome so let's see what he says and then you guys will talk about it and then i'll uh if you want me to stop let me know where you want me to stop and then um and it's one of those things because a lot of things happened in last city socorro meeting well let's let me tell you let's tell Rene, tell us what happened in the last city, the last meeting uh. I went to the last meeting. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. What happened that made you go to this meeting? Okay, yes, yes. That's what I was going to say. Okay. I went to the last meeting because prior to that meeting, uh, the one before that, they said that we had crappy representation in the MPO. And they insinuated that it was me. And I, I, I really did it because I want people to understand that, that they still use identity politics in Socorro, right? I want people to understand that they use identity politics as it's still corrupt. No, it's not corrupt. If you're there in council and you're saying that it's still corrupt, then you're part of that corruption. You see, I've always said it's past tense because... We've cleaned it, you know? Now, when we've cleaned that, there are some members of council that come in with bad intentions. So before this meeting, and they brought me up to it, they said that I was, I was a bad uh, representative for the MPO, and I wanted to clarify that because it's unfair. It's easy for you guys to be there um, behind the mic and spew all your lies. And there's nobody there to rebuttal, to, to, to fight, to really say, hey, hey, wait, 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 there's two sides to a coin. Always remember that. So I've always said that, you know, and it's like you people need to hear it from my end because it's easy to just say, oh, yes, uh, they were bad, this and that, and they never did anything. But yet when you confront them, what are they going to say? And that's what I did, and I had to do that. When you invoke my name, okay, when you invoke my name, trust me, I will come here and defend myself. Just because you guys have the mic, you guys can say anything, the audience that isn't here and isn't aware of what has been transpiring in the city will take your word for it. And I will call your lies to your face. Okay? When you invoke my name, and to put it in these terms, I'm not here, so when you say my name, that's what it means by invoking, okay? Uh, Ms. Villalobos came up 
and said that I was a backward representative in the MPO. Okay? I want everybody here and everybody out there to know that last meeting in December, okay, Ms. Yellow said that I was a bad representative in the MPO. But in that same meeting, when there was going to change representation in the MPO, Mr. Representative District 2 asked the mayor how many projects were in the MPO. And she quickly responded, oh, there's five. And she left it at that. But if I was so bad, why didn't she continue and say that those five projects were my projects that I brought? Millions of dollars. Five projects that are over millions of dollars I have brought. Okay? All my little Waco tanks, I brought it. I allocated $1.5 million for acquisition of right away. And I only I saved the city almost a million dollars on acquisition. You don't believe me? There's a representative here. They can attest to it that I had a meeting with every single landowner to ask them to help us build this road. I allocated $1.5 million for acquisition of right away. And I only, I saved the city almost a million dollars on acquisition. You don't believe me? There's a representative here. They can attest to it that I had a meeting with every single landowner to ask him to help us build this road. And he was one of them to say, we'll help you. I saved the city almost a million dollars. And you tell me that I was a bad representative in the MPO? That is a disgrace. So I'm here to tell you that, Mayor, you've been there for a year. You haven't brought anything. And in my first year, I brought old Nuevo Wico tanks. Okay? Sal. Yep. What do you think? <clears throat> so far, so good. I mean, this is exactly... Uh, so, if I may, I want to backpedal a little bit on 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 where where all of this kind of originated. So, this is a meeting from January the sixth. Mm. Um, there was a previous meeting where uh, uh, Representative Three is talking about. Uh, he put it actually in the agenda item that he wanted. Uh, to get that seat. He wanted to be part of the MPO, which kind of threw Ivy, through the mayor and through Colon uh, off the rails because they were saying that she was doing a magnificent job. We've already had three representatives in two years. We, we don't look like a city doing that. So I want you gentlemen to think about it. Um, maybe there's something else that Mr. Rudy Cruz can go into that we're not, we're not uh, taking care of. Um, Mr. Rudy, I, I love the financial part, but with this health issue that I'm going through, I have not attended. You are more than welcome to have that position. It's a very important position as well. But, um, and I know you're very popular, Mr. Rudy, and I'm going to be very frank with you. I know Mr. Samaniego is there and he's a very good friend of yours. And that's excellent. That's excellent. That's good for our city. Now we're on the map, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But just to, you know, take this from under a rug that somebody's been doing a beautiful job, you know, I don't think it's fair. Thank you very much. This is a, quite an opportunity for me to be here today. And people in Bellingham would like to just address the audience. Of course. Okay. I just wanted to let you know, you know, the support that these gentlemen need, all the representatives, is very important from a community. And they too, you know, they, they need to be your servants. They're, we are public servants. And I've always said, you know, if you start making decisions with your heart and then you filter through your mind, you're going to be better off. When you make them through your mind, sometimes it never gets to your heart. Because you got to remember, everybody who spends your money don't care that it's your money because it's not, 
it's not their problem. They don't, they're disconnected from you and me, from our lives. They're disconnected. They're disconnected from our own way of spending and our home household budgets. But just to, you know, take this from under a rug that somebody's been doing a beautiful job, you know, I don't think it's fair. And I'm not saying that because it's Ivy Avalos. I'm saying that because I saw her struggle in the beginning and, 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 and research and um, we did it together. And then, of course, I got sick and I couldn't shadow her. So maybe you want to shadow uh, as a second representative. I, you know, I'm sure Mrs. Avalos would not mind that because uh, I can't do it. And I was appointed to do it. That's my two cents or not my two cents, but please think about it. Don't, don't pull something that's not broken and, and don't make us look weak because, uh, and I know Rudy's not weak. I know he's out there in the public eye. Um, he's very popular, but that's not the right reason. Thank you. Um, there was a previous meeting where uh, uh, representative three is talking about, uh, he put it actually in the agenda item that he wanted uh, to get that seat. He wanted to be part of the MPO, which kind of threw Ivy, through the mayor and through Colon uh, off the rails because they were saying that she was doing a magnificent job. But I want to, you know, backpedal even way before this because this is January. Uh, we're talking December. I want to take the viewers all the way to August 19th. On August 19, I called in on public comment and I had a list that I got off from the MPO and I read every single project that, that was already authorized. So I have the list here. And, and what, I, what I read was that there was an I-10 whitening, there was a downtown 10, uh, there was a uh, project in Artcraft, Pendale, uh, Loop 375, Horizon at Darrington, Borderland Expressway, I-10, uh, ah. uh, US-54, and Montana Avenue. And so, and so my comment was that uh, when, when I read all of that, I told them, I said, what's wrong with this, guys? And referring to city council at that time. And, and so what I said was that it's missing Socorro. Nothing for Socorro. And so this is already this is already in the works when Ivy Avalos is sitting down as as a, a chair uh, has a chair at the MPO who can vote and who can uh, speak on behalf of Socorro. So again, uh, she took that seat uh, when 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 right after she got elected. So August they had already been almost eight months when she was part of that seat. And so that's why I called it out. This was back on 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 September, um, August the 19th. And right away, I started getting text messages from the mayor. And I started getting messages from Columbia Lobos that what am I talking about? Right. So all of this transpired, in my personal opinion, because of what I said on August 19th. And I'm going to stop there because there's going to be more stuff that, that I'm going to be uh, discussing as you start rolling this uh, this video. Angie. You know what? Before the January 6th meeting, I remember watching the previous council meeting, and I do recall how Ms. Uh, Colombia Lobos, uh, um, I'm sorry, Colombia Lobos and Avalos were uh, stating that Mr. Rodriguez pretty much didn't do anything for the city. And that, yeah, he was a bad rep. And I said, oh, shots fired, shots fired. And um, when I saw Mr. Rodriguez going up, I said, you know what, I would have done the same. You know, it's very easy to get on a mic and say what you feel like, especially having that seat. But I mean, it's something very different, actually. Hey, they could have called Mr. Rodriguez. They could have said, you know, Mr. Rodriguez, you didn't do anything and confront him, you know, and just tell him you know, to his face. But, you know, they decided to take the mic and go that route. So I would have done the same for Mr. Rodriguez. You know, it's like Mr. Chagoya said. The keyboard warriors, you know, it's very easy to sit behind a computer and type and say and create accounts, but it's 
it's very different to actually, you know, just tell a person, you know, this is what I feel. And, but I mean, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, I remember in past conversations with Rodriguez, he would show us what he was doing at the MPO and how that would work. And we had no clue how the, what the MPO was and how the projects that were brought into a city council when he was up there. And just admit it. What's so hard of saying, you know what, this was done by previous council. It wasn't us, but we're going to try our best to bring more projects in. Why try to take that as if it was yours or say, oh, you didn't do anything. Just say, you know what they did? And, you know, hopefully we'll do a, a good job as well. I, I just don't get them.